All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of the Hashtag Academy, all right? First off, make sure you subscribe to the Hashtag channel if you're enjoying what we're doing. We've had some great feedback, some great comments, and really appreciate the fact that you guys are liking this series. We love doing it, all right? Now, before we jump into the action today, we have to announce who's won the public vote. Last episode, we introduced the concept of the bench. We put the onus on you guys to save one of three players who are dropped into this kind of purgatory situation. Okay, those three players were Sean Alexander, Samraj Gill and Bertu Saham. Only one of these players could be saved. Two of them are leaving the process. Let's take a look at who got the most votes. You can see the winner of the public vote was Sean Alexander. So he stays alive in the process. Unfortunately, we lose Bertu Sahan and we lose Samraj Gill. They've both been fantastic. Let them know in the comments below if you think they've had a good series. I know they have. Now then though, we have our final six. We need to crack on with the action. The boys are going to be put through their paces in technical challenges today. They'll be finding out what they'll be doing very soon. Don't forget though, at the end of this episode, you're going to have another chance to vote on the Glitch app. So make sure you've got it. Check the links in the description. Also, it's not just the voting you can do over there. There's lots of bonus content for the Academy series, which I thoroughly recommend. Let's go talk to the boys and tell them what they're doing technically. Lads, welcome back to the Hashtag Academy. The final six now, you've done really well to get this far. First of all, Sean, well done for winning the public vote. You were saved, so you're back in the process in the final six. We'll give him a clap. <laughs> Izu, obviously last episode you, you uh, earned yourself immunity and you went straight through. Someone again can do that today in the technical challenges. So today we're going to be testing more football related challenges with the, with the football in use, obviously. Um, again, they're individual skills, some of which will be more suited to certain positions than others, particularly in your case, Louis, as a goalkeeper. We're going to have you do the outfield um, challenges as well as seeing you go in goal for some of them. If it comes to a deliberation review, we'll be taking into consideration the fact that you were asked to do skills that aren't necessarily necessary for your position. Okay, so we appreciate you giving it a go. So yeah, we're going to go and do some, some technical challenges, guys. One of you will gain immunity, one of you will drop in bottom position into the bench and then we'll have a further chat and decide who's going to join him on the bench and then be facing the public vote. Let's go. Right, Sean, you've been saved by the fans at home. Tell me, how does it feel? Honestly, it's insane. I'm over the moon. Um, the support this series for me has been incredible and like... I'm honestly just like so thankful for it. Right, Louis, so you're about to take on some technical challenges now. It's a little bit different for you because you're actually a goalkeeper and not an outfield player. So talk to me, how are you feeling? I'm feeling reasonably confident. I think a lot of people are going to be very surprised with the ability that I'm going to show. Um, I'm actually known for striking the ball quite well. Uh, my passing, the same distribution has been one of my strongest suits. So I'm, I'm reasonably confident. Should do good in a passing drill. The dribbling drill, I don't know about that. Um, Shooting Joe, I should do alright, so hopefully it goes well. Okay, first up on our technical challenges is the dribbling challenge demonstrated by Charlie Morley here. Now you're up against the clock, you've got to get in and out of these cones as quickly as possible. There's a bit of sprinting at either end as you'll see now as Charlie Morley opens up to the orange cones. He then repeats it on the way back of the circuit. The reason Devs is following him so close is he's watching for penalties. If you hit a cone, move a cone or miss a, a, an obstacle or a cone, uh, you get a second added on for every single violation. So Devs is keeping track of that, showing there have been a couple of violations against Charlie Morley there. So the boys are going to have to have a go at this. The shot at the end is optional. Up first is Izu, okay? So he's had a fantastic last episode where he gained immunity. Uh, can he do the same again here? It's going to be a big ask. Obviously, physical challenges were more tailored towards Izu as one of the bigger lads, but and, and one of the fitter lads, clearly, as well. But technical challenge is a little bit different. But I have to say, he's doing very well on this dribbling. He's making really good time here. And he's, uh, this is his first penalty, though. That is going to go down as a penalty. Only got one, so it's a second added on to his time. Very good pace through the last part of the drill. 27... 0.2 overall, 26.2 plus one second penalty. Very good from Izu. Skubik is up next. He's got 27.2 to beat from uh, from Izu there. And it's very, very nicely done there from Isaac. He's not making breakneck speed. He's just going about his business. Maybe could have sprinted a little bit quicker going into this one. He's got himself a couple penalties in short succession there. It's going to add on to his time. Isaac's still going here. He's finished off well. Got a penalty at the end there, though, and he's going to finish with 28.69 plus three penalties, 
Now, Louis Lawler up next, the goalkeeper. He is going to be taking part in the outfield technical challenges today. We are going to see a little bit of him in goal as well. He's got a penalty there. So it's a little bit unfair on Louis, but he's very, very good sport. He's up for taking on the challenge. And we're going to make sure we know, come the end of the episode, if there's some deliberating to do, we take into consideration that Louis Lawler has been asked to do challenges that are out of his comfort zone. But I have to say, he's making very good speed here. He's only picked up the one penalty so far. And there's a second one. But still, this is a good time from Louis Lawler. Putting the outfield players to shame. Go on, my son. Lovely footwork. Very good from the goalkeeper. Okay, Lewis Burke now, the centre-back. How quickly can he move through these cones? He's picked up a penalty there fairly early on. He's not getting the ball out of his feet. I mean, it's not everyone's forte, let's be honest. Another penalty there. Everyone's got their own strengths. That's the idea of these technical challenges. You'll do well on some, maybe not so well on the others. If you can find a general form throughout all of them, you'll, you'll do well and win yourself immunity. But Burkane struggling a little bit here, picking up quite a few penalties. He just needs to finish off with a good finish now just to get that time. He's got five penalties in total. 32.44 was his time. 37.44 with the penalties. Sean Alexander now. You saved him in the public vote. Lovely ball rolls through these cones. And he's missed the cone there, though. I think he's forgotten to go around that orange cones. That's going to be a one-second penalty. But otherwise, very good stuff from Sean, showing you why you saved him. Maybe it was a good decision as Alexander comes bursting out into this second go now. That's good from him. Uses the left foot a little bit. It's important, I think, to use the second foot where possible. He's just gone a little bit off-piste here, but he's going to recover. Needs to pick up the time now. Sean Alexander to finish strong. Not bad. Just a one-second penalty. 35.44 plus one. 36.44 for Sean. Joshua Asude to finish there. Now, very fast dribbling normally, but he's already struggled a little bit with these cones. He's better at kicking it out of his feet longer distances and sprinting. These small, intricate movements might cause him a problem. He's made up for it a little bit there. He's hit a cone on the way out, though, and he's got the ball stuck under his feet. Joshua Sude not showing... Oh, no, what's happened there? It's a, it's a bit of a nightmare around it. He's doing this at a pedestrian pace. Joshua, you need to get your legs moving, pal. Because, oh, wow, he's missed a cone there as well. He's gone back, but this is not being a good day at the office for a Sude. Plenty of other challenges left, but I think it's going to be a bad start for Joshua. Mostly right-footed on that. Could have used the left foot at some point. So let's take a look at the leaderboard after our opening round, which was the dribbling. Izu continues his dominance from last episode. Top of the leaderboard, 26.2 is a very good time. And he only got a one-second penalty, which took it to 27.2. Joshua Asude, on the other hand, has not had a good round. He needs to pick up some points in the other ones. Plenty of time to do that, though. I'm feeling quite confident, quite confident. I think one of my strengths is definitely my technical ability, so I'm hoping to shine through. I'd say my biggest strength with the technical challenges would be either the passing or the first touch. And then my biggest uh, weakness in the technical would probably be the defending. Obviously, I'm a bit nervous. Obviously, the technicality isn't the strongest part of my game, but hopefully I can get through it. And then the fans, if, if I don't get immunity straight away, then hopefully the fans can help me out and put me through. OK, next up is going to be the passing drill. Charlie Morley is going to demonstrate. This is also against the clock. You've got 30 seconds maximum. You've got to play your passes within this yellow circle. You've got to collect your ball each time. You can't aim at the same goal twice, and each goal is worth one point. So five points maximum. Morley smashing this on either foot here. The last one's hard, though. You've got to go aerial pass. It can't bounce before oh, the centre circle. And Charlie's hit a little bit too long on that one. It's not bad for Charlie. Louis Lawler up now, though. Good start. Right-footed pass straight into the goal. One point locked in. Second pass not as accurate for Louis. He can't aim at that same one again. He's gone with the further one, and he's missed that one as well. So still just one point. Tries a left-footed pass, which is brave. Maybe foolish, because he's missed it. Now the long-range one. Louis has no problems kicking the ball very, very far distances. Again, he's gone too far on that one, though, just like Charlie did in the demo. He's hashtagged it, but he's only got one point. Lewis Burkane up now. Can he beat Louis Lawler's one? He's not scored with his first attempt. He's going to go for the further target now. It's just a little bit off. And it's harder this because if there was a player there, they'd have easily controlled that. But uh, he's gone for the longer range pass this time. You can change the order up. You can go in any order you want. But he's not registered a point yet. It's his last pass now. He needs to get one. Lewis Burkane. He's gone for it. Oh, he's hit the post. That's harsh. No points for Burkane. OK, Sean Alexander's up next. Remember, you saved this guy in the public vote. He's come back and he started off well. He's got himself one complete pass. He's just missed on the second attempt. He still have a good score here. Well, that's a lovely pass. Really put some venom on that. So that's two out of three. Can he make it three out of four? Again, he gets it. Going for four out of five. Can he do it? It'll be the best score so far. 
Is it good? Oh, again, it's just gone over. The player's struggling to get it to drop in time. Good score from Sean. Three out of five. Okay, it's Izu up next. He's won the opening round. Can he continue his fine form? He started off fantastically with the perfect pass. Second time. Lucky gets two out of two. Can he get the perfect score here? It would be unbelievable if he does. Third one is in. Okay, he's on track for it. Can he get a four out of four? He's done it. It's going to go in. Right. If he gets the long ranger, he's got five out of five. Cameron's in his way a little bit there. Oh, he's just gone to the side. That's still very good. Four out of five. He's leading again. Isaac Skubik up next. He's a midfielder. Compares himself to Iniesta. Passing very important in that position. And that's very unlucky. He's denied by the woodwork on that pass. What about attempt number two? That's straight in the back of the net. So he's got one out of two so far. Skubik goes attempt number three here. Oh, is that over the line? I don't think it was. He's been denied by the woodwork again. That's really unlucky because he's got his fourth one in. He could easily have had four out of four. Instead, it's two out of four. Long range one, though. Looks good. It's in the back of the net. That's beautiful. First person to get the long range. Three out of five. Okay, Joshua Asude up now. What can he do? First pass is good. It's in the back of the net. It's what you want to see. Nice beginning. Oh, it's a perfect start. Two from two. Joshua Asude. Can he make it three from three? Longer distance. It's a little bit off target for him there. So he's not done that one. And that one, he's rushed a little bit. He's got to go long now to make it three from five. Oh, wow. I'm not even sure which ones he was going for there, but he's got a two. Let's take a look at the leaderboard after our second round, which was the passing round. Izu wins again. He is on fire. He's won immunity last episode. He's on track to do it again here, winning both the opening rounds. He is top of the pops. Lewis Burkane has not had a great round, not had a great episode so far. He's languishing towards the bottom of the table. He needs to pick up some points. Asude not doing great either. I know today is based on scores but ultimately at the end of the series you are the one that makes the final call so how harshly are you judging today on the ability that you're seeing well we're kind of judging it i'm judging in, in two kind of ways obviously as you said they've, they've got the scores and what we're trying to, to do with those scores is is be firm but fair as last time there's going to be certain drills and challenges that suit some more than others uh, again i'm looking to those who are, are they able to maximize their strengths are they able to minimize their weaknesses how do they cope with that there's no way that if they have a bad bad round or a bad bad exercise that they should feel that that's the end for them because they've um, they've, they've all done really well to get here and they've all got a very good chance Okay, next we're challenging our players' touch, their first touch. Now look at this, we've got a ball cannon or a ball launcher firing the balls in. They've got to take it down with a two-touch maximum in the orange and black cone circle. Demonstrated perfectly by Izzo in his first go there. Can he do it again? That one's got away from him. So they get five goes at this. Ball's coming at different angles. He's managed to bring that one down. If it stops... Oh no, it's gone out, you know. It's gone out. See, it's hard. You've got to stop it dead within two touches, which he's managed to do there. Okay, so that's two for Izzo. Can he make it three? chest needs to get there he does so three out of five for izu not bad isaac skubik up next all oh, that first touch has hurt him it's got away from him there second go oh you know what skubik's first touch leaving a little bit to be desired right now fourth attempt keep it in he does okay he gets himself a point well done isaac last go now that one's got away from him again so just one out of five for isaac Louis Lawler now again, goalkeeper being tested in his first touch. First touch still quite important for a keeper. He didn't manage to get there for that one. Again, on the right foot there, that one's too much for him to handle. That's a lovely first touch from Louis on that time, though. Manages to bring that down. That one's going to just get in front of him. So can he get a second on his last go here? Oh, he's got there. Is it going to stay in? It does. Okay, two points for Louis, not bad at all. Joshua Asude up next. What's his first touch like? Not amazing by that demonstration, but it's got four other goes to prove me wrong. And that's lovely. He's brought that down. That's going to stop in the circle. Just one from two. That one's got outside the circle, though. Another go. He, he's got away with it. He had to improvise on that one. Two from four. You know what? Three out of five is a solid score from Joshua Asude. Sean Alexander. What can he do? First touch is good. And he gets there for the second touch. Keeps it in. Nice. Sean Alexander again here. Oh, you know what? He's just saved that. On the rim, it was going to bounce out, and he improvised once more. This is a very good start from Sean Alexander. Three from three. Perfect so far. And you know what? His chest is the second touch there. It's counted. Four from four for the perfect round. Oh, he gets four from five. It's still very good. Lewis Burkane up now. First touch has gone outside of the circle. Second attempt is very good. Keeps it down. 
So that's one from two for Lewis. And he's got his third one as well. So that's two from three. Oh, yeah, maybe could have gone with a knee on that one. Last go. It's a high one. It's a very tough one to control. Two from five for Lewis Burkane. So we're at the halfway stage on our technical challenges here. Three challenges down. You have to say that wasn't a great round for Isaac Skubik there, who finishes bottom for the touch test. You have to shout out Sean Alexander. You saved him in the public vote, and he's won that round with four out of five. Great first touch. Okay, heading up next, Charlie Morley demonstrating here exactly how to score a header. They're going to get five balls coming in at them. Three served by Tom Williams, two served by Lee Hurst. It got to score as many as possible as Lewis Burkane goes up first with a diving header, just putting that one wide. Next chance for Burkane is also wide. Louis Lawler in goal not being tested there. He's going to get a go at heading as well at the end. Burkane, that's a lovely guided header into the bottom right corner there. That's one from three for Lewis Burkane. Attempt number four bounces down straight into the gloves of Lawler and last attempt for Burkane is wide so it's just one out of five for Burkane. Up next is Sean Alexander another centre back perhaps getting forward from corners chance he could score some goals a la Jack Harrison of course from centre back last season but right now it's not going too well for Sean Alexander who's put his first two both off target. Attempt number three oh, you know what he's not testing the keeper right now he needs to put them on target minimum zero from three for Sean Alexander Again, he's, he's missing that same angle a lot, just wide of the left post. Last attempt for Sean to get a header in here. And he doesn't. It's a miss for Sean. So zero from five. He'll be disappointed with that. Another centre-back now with Izu. He scored a great header in the trials. And you can see he's gifted in this department as he guides that one into the bottom right. Nothing Lawler could do. Attempt number two, straight at Louis. We've asked Louis not to come out for these and try and claim them. He has to stay on his line. Another chance for Izu. That's a fantastic header. Two from three. Izu looks like the real deal. And that's a good save from Lawler on that one. Two from four from Izu, but they've all been on target. Oh, and uh, Lawler can't kick that one out. So it's three from five for Izu. Very decent. Next up, it's Isaac Skubik. What can he do with his first header? Does well to get it down. Bouncing it off the ground at speed is usually difficult for the keepers. That one just went straight into Lawler. But that one didn't. In the back of the net. One from two for Isaac there. He'll be happy with that last one. This one again bounces straight into the grateful gloves of Louis Lawler. Attempt number four, it's a difficult one. He's done well to get something on it, but couldn't get it goalwards. Last attempt for Isaac Skubik is solid, but Lawler's caught it. So it's just the one goal for Isaac. Okay, Joshua Asude up next. Now we saw last week, he's got an amazing leap, this lad. Almost too good a leap as he's got over the ball on that one, and he's kind of messed it up. So he's missed that one. This one, he gets goalwards, but... Not really uh, any power on it. Third attempt for Josh. Again, a very good jump, but heading probably not his strong suit. I think he won't mind me saying that. That one's over as well. It's his last attempt. He's getting a bit frustrated. Can he get a goal? No, he can't get him on target. So it's no headers scored for Joshua Sude. Finally then, Louis Lawler gets a goal. Charlie Morley jumps in goal. First header is well wide by Louis Lawler. Let's see what he can do in the second one. Oh, it's off the post. That's unlucky. You never know. Cup game. Keeper could come up for a corner towards the end and that's what Louis Lawler can do he gets a goal of his third attempt not bad got two attempts left that one's off target can he make it two from five which should be the second best score of anyone in the heading and he can Charlie Morley can't keep it out Louis Lawler is a danger that's the heading complete so after the heading round you can see that Izu is just unstoppable he's got to be bookies favorites to get immunity for the second episode in a row he could be going straight through to the final four I expected it a bit more on the physical test but he's doing just as well on the technical meanwhile at the other end of things Joshua Asude is in a bit of danger of being on the bench he needs to pick up some points and Louis Lawler is doing fantastic let's spare a thought for him goalkeeper taking on the outfield challenges making some of the outfield boys look like mugs Okay, our penultimate challenge is going to be one-on-one -on -one defending. Demonstrated here by Lee Hurst and Stampy. Stampy is the defender. His job is to stop the attacker getting a shot off, okay? If they score, it doesn't really matter. It's whether they get the shot off. Stampy stopped it there. So if that was one of our boys in the academy, they'd get a point. Okay, so first up, everyone's going to have to try and stop Wes Tanser, as Izu does here. That's a point for Izu. And the players they're going to have to stop are going to get progressively harder. So now it's Sean Alexander against Wes Tanser. Can he get a point? Good tackle. Oh, Wes will get through, though. Can he get a shot off? Well, Sean's done very well to recover there. I thought Wes would have got the shot off. So still a point for Sean. Now it's Isaac Skubik. Wes going to try and get the shot off, and he does. 
He gets a goal as well. He's beaten Lawler. Fantastic strike from the white Kante. Okay, Luis Burke now up against Wes Tansa. Can he stop him? Good strength from the centre-back. And you expect the centre-backs to do well in this drill. Joshua Asude now against Wes. He's come out quickly to try and meet him and he's read it well. So a point for Joshua Asude. Louis Lawler now against Wes. Okay, he's done well. Can Wes get a shot off? Still Louis, just shepherding him away from danger. Good tackle from the goalkeeper. Okay, now everyone's got to go against Stampy, who's obviously a centre-back, but he's got a little bit about him going forward here. Good little tussle between him and Izu. He does get the shot off, though, so no point for Izu in that round. Now it's Sean Alexander up against Stampy. Centre-back versus centre-back. Stampy over a change of pace and a fantastic finish. No point for Sean. Isaac Skubik now up against Stampy. It's a mismatch in terms of size, but can he get the ball? Oh, nice little skill there from Stamp. Can he get the shot off against Isaac? There's no real time limit on these challenges. We're just playing it to it. It kind of peters out. And Stampy gets a shot there, so no point for Isaac. Luis Burke now up against Stampy. Centre-back versus centre-back. They could be competing for a place in the side next season if Burke wins the series. Stampy finds room. He gets the shot off, but wasn't on target. But that still means Burke does not get the point. Joshua Asude now up against Stampy. Asude has come running out of the blocks and uh, he's not been able to stop Stampy there. Unfortunately for Stampy, the shot was off target. Louis Lawler now up against Stampy. What can he do? He's watching him. Oh, a little bit of a foul maybe there. But there's no ref. So we're going to allow it because I think Stampy had ran away with the ball a little bit. I don't think he was going to get there. Okay, next up, the boys have got to face Honey Badger of uh, FIFA Esports fame, but a very good footballer as well. And he gets the shot off against Izu. Not an easy feat. Honey Badger now up against Sean Alexander. And he does him again. Gets space on the left side. He's allowed to take the shot once he gets that angle because he's beaten his man. So no point for Sean. Isaac Skubik now up against the Badger man. Little step over. Little body feint. And Badger does it so well. Misses his shot, but he doesn't get stopped. So it's no point for Isaac. Luis Burkane shifting his body left to right. Good tackle from Burkane. No way through for Badger. That's a point. Joshua Asude now up against Honey Badger. Badger with a great little bit of movement. Oh, what a recovery tackle, though, from Asude. He might have injured Badger, but you know what? All is fair in love and war and football. That was a great tackle. He gets a point. Louis Lauder now against Badger. Badger loves to get it on that left foot. Oh, and Charlie Morley will be disappointed he didn't save that. No point for Lawler. Okay, our fourth attacker is Lee Hurstick going up against our Academy hopefuls. Starting off with Izu. Good strength from Izu. Stops the shot. He gets a point. Sean Alexander now up against Lee Hurstick. Hasn't got too many points in this round. Oh, he's dived in there and Lee's beaten him for room and space and he stops him getting a point. Isaac Skubik. Can he stop the on-rushing? Lee Hurstick, he can't. Shifts his body weight to the left nicely and scores a goal. Lewis Burkane up against Lee Hurstick now. What can the Burke man do as Lee Hurstick goes over to his right foot and scores? Lovely goal. No point for Lewis. Joshua Asude to take on Lee Hurstick. Oh, you know what? Lee Hurst has done very well there. He's changed direction at speed and scored. Louis Lawler now. Oh, no, he's been put on the floor. He's been Jerome Boateng and the right-footed finish. Lee Hurst making it look easy. Finally, the lads have to face Charlie Morley up against Izu first. Look at the movement from Charlie Morley. Can he get the shot off? A very good recovery tackle from Izu, who you have to say is having an exceptional day at the football office. Sean Alexander now. Comes to meet Charlie Morley. He's dived in again. And Morley beats him and scores. No point for Sean, who's struggling in this challenge. Isaac Skubik. Can he stop the Morley pig? Oh, Morley goes onto his right foot. How do you stop a man that can go either side? He's ambidextrous, people. Lewis Burkane up against Morley. Oh, and you know what? Morley's beaten himself there. He's fallen over a little bit. Burkane gets a bit of a relief. Joshua Asude could not stop a very quick moving Charlie Morley. No point for him. Lawler to finish the round off here. Can he stop Morley? Oh, you know what? He's got a touch on it, but he's not going to stop the shot. And Seb makes a saving goal. So no point for Louis Lawler on that one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. So after our penultimate challenges of the one-on-one -on -one defending, you have to say that Izu has continued his fine form. Louis Burkane doing well as well on that one. A disappointing round for Isaac Skubik. With one round left, points are crucial. So our final round is going to be the five shot challenge. Okay, Louis Lawler in goal once again. You start off with a penalty. You've got to do it to time as well. You've only got 30 seconds to complete it. So you have your penalty. You come round. You wrap your foot around this edge of the D on the right side. Then you go around the left side. And then you have the edge of the box here. 
Charlie Owen is going to demonstrate this one. And then on the final shot, you can have a touch and you hit it within the D. Little bit of a twist though. You've got to do at least one shot with your weak foot. So that was Charlie Morley's demonstration. So let's see what Isaac Skubik can do here with a penalty. He puts that away nicely, just like he did in episode two, scoring a penalty for the Saturday trial team. Oh, it's a lovely finish on the second attempt. We are due a left-footed shot though from Isaac. Are we going to see it here? No, he's going to keep right-footed on this one and it's quite an easy save that one for Louis. So just two out of three so far. Here's the left-footed shot, just off target. Can he make it a three from five? He takes the touch, got to hit it before the box. He does, but it's wide. Two for Isaac. I think on his day, he does better than that. Okay, Sean Alexander up now with a left-footed penalty against the bar. That's unlucky, but at least he's got the left-foot shot out the way. Back on his favoured right foot now. And that hit is solid for a centre-back, but good save from Louis Lawler, who watched it all the way. Still on his right foot here. That one's got too much juice on it. It's gone off target. None of them have hit the back of the net yet. That one has lovely strike from Sean. Can he make it two from five of his final shot? Saves. Okay, one from five for Sean Alexander. Okay, Lewis Burkane up now. Penalty. Oh, a little bit of a dink on that from Lewis there, but he scores it. Doesn't matter how you do it. You've got to get it in the back of the net. Second attempt. What's he got? It's not a bad hit, but the keeper saves it. Third attempt. He's got to get over to that left side. He's a bit unlucky there because his ball's been knocked. He's hit it on the left foot and uh, it's been saved. So still looking for that second goal. Oh, that one's gone underneath Louis Lawler. He'll be disappointed with that one. Two from four for Lewis Burkane. Two from five it is for Lewis Burke. Not bad for a centre-back. Joshua Asude up next. Looks like he's going to start with his left-footed shot being the penalty, which he puts in beautifully down the middle, nice and powerful. So it's one from one so far for the speedster winger. Can he make it two from two? That one was saved. He's better on his left foot by the looks of things. Going for the third shot now for Asude, who needs the points, let's not forget. And that one's gone straight into Louis Lawler's hands. He's taken this one at a bit of a pedestrian pace as well. It's supposed to be match pace. And that one's gone off target. Sude not doing himself any favours here. Last shot is dragged wide. So it's just the one goal for Joshua Asude. Okay, we've got Izu up now. He's going to start with the left-footed penalty, which he scores, sending Louis Lawler the wrong way. Good start from Izu. Now he's going to go over to this left-hand side. And he's going to try a right-footed shot from here. Oh, which goes against the post. Unlucky, because Lawler was watching that one. It might have beaten him. Next shot. Oh, that's a lovely shot from Izu there. He could have had a three from three. Two from three, though, is his current score. Make that three from four. Can he make it four from five with the toughest shot of all? Oh, it's a great save from Lawler. Pushes it onto the woodwork twice. Izu is denied by the woodwork. Almost got a perfect score. He'll have to settle for three. Finally, it's Louis Lawler's goal. Remember, he's a goalkeeper. He's not expected to score these, but he's put that penalty in the top bins, I think. Sends Charlie Morley the wrong way, who's deputising in goal. Left-footed shot up next. That's wide. That's his weak foot one out the way, though. Third shot is powerful, but also wide. So one from three for Louis Lawler so far. He's doing this at a good pace, though, which I appreciate. That shot is too powerful. That's like one of his goal kicks, to be fair. Final shot from Lawler. It's a good one. Nothing more he could do. Two from five from the goalkeeper. I rate it. And he hashtags it. Thank you. Means a lot. So that's the five shot challenge done and that's our technical challenges finished, okay? Izu is a machine. He gets immunity for the second episode in a row. No one could beat him on the physical tests or the technical tests. So Izu is definitely gonna be in the final four. At the bottom of the leaderboard though, you can see Asude drops to the bench. You're gonna be voting to save Joshua Asude against two other players that we drop onto the bench with him after we have our little deliberations. Special mention to Louis Lawler, by the way, who as a goalkeeper has done fantastically well on these outfield challenges. Now it's time for us to chat and work out who we're going to send to the bench along with Joshua Asude for you guys to vote over. And look who I'm with again. The main man is you've come first place again for the second time running. Again, you are now immune through to the next episode. How does it feel to do it two times in a row? I mean, it feels amazing. I don't, <laughs> don't know what to say, man. It just feels good that I came here, did what I needed to do, got the result. Well, Les, thank you very much for uh, your, giving us your best in those technical challenges there. I think you've all done really well. Obviously, it goes without saying how well you have done to get to this final sixth stage, but it's about to get a little bit harder now as we uh, put some of you up to the public vote. First off though, we have to say a double well done to Izu because the second episode in a row, you've got yourself immunity by winning the challenges. So well done, that's very impressive. So on the opposite end of the table, obviously we had uh, someone that finished bottom and that was you, Joshua. So Joshua, you are gonna be facing the public vote on the bench. 
but you won't be alone. You'll be joined by two other players. Only one of you will make it through to the final four. The two players joining you, the first person is going to be Sean Alexander. Okay, Sean, so it means if you make it through to the final four, you've been saved by the public twice in a row, which is a big ask, I know. But you've done well to get this far. Maybe they'll back you again. Maybe they'll back you, Joshua. Or maybe they'll back our third person who's going to be going onto the bench, which is going to be Lewis Burkane. Okay? So you three guys are on the bench. One of you will make the final four, along with Isaac Skubic, who's in the final four. Very good, well done. And Louis Lawler. So well done, guys. Over to the audience now. You've got to save one of these guys and bring them into the final four. What's your message to the people at home? Why do you want to stay in the process? It's me part of a club, part of a family, and I feel like hashtag is the right place to do that. I think the support's been incredible. Like I can't imagine anything like it, and um, long may it continue, I guess. I do probably think I'm one of the most committed players, potential to come play for the team. Uh, I play at a good level anyway, which is similar to this. Um, yeah, I'm ready, I'm young, I'm passionate about the game as well, so I think I'll be a good addition to the squad. So, guys, we know three of our final four. Well done to all of them, they've done so well. There's one spot left and it's up to you to decide. These are the three people that need your votes. Only one of them can make the final four, so head over to the Glitch app. Your votes are massively appreciated and really important for this series, guys. So get over there and start voting. Also on the Glitch app is a load of Hashtag United bonus content. So head over there, once you've done your vote, check out the hashtag tab on the top right corner and check out some of the videos there, sort of bonus features, lovely stuff. Okay, next time we see you is gonna be the interview stage of the process. We're heading to our new ground share, Tilbury, and we're gonna be interviewing the boys, finding out a bit more about them. We're also gonna be visiting them in their natural habitats. So everyone that's in the final four is gonna get grilled and they're gonna to have to really earn their spot in the final two. If you're enjoying the series, make sure you drop a like on the video, uh, subscribe to the Hashtag United channel if you haven't already for more top quality football content. We'll see you on another episode of the Hashtag Academy soon. Until next time, don't forget to hashtag it.